real. It's real. I'm really here. Oh, oh, oh. about it right now. I, I don't want this to be so difficult for everyone. I tried so hard not to give up. Look, oh. how long have you been here? Not very long. We'll, we'll tell you everything, Rick, but we have to keep it very quiet. I can't believe it. held a prisoner, Les. By who? For what? Why? This is incredible. Who? Luke? Who did it? You tell me who did it, Luke. Helena Cassadine. <laughs> there was no way to escape before. Eventually, I just gave up trying. But then when I found the article that said that Luke was still alive, I had to find some way to get off the island. And it sounds like they let you get away this time. Someone did. Tell me more about Stavros. He's, he's like the rest of the Cassadines. He's insane with power and greed. Those people are criminals. They ought to be locked up. If we say anything, the Cassadines will try to take revenge, and it's my word against theirs. And the next time this accident won't be a fake. I'll tell you this, we're not going to sit around here and do nothing. Well, I think you know me better than that, Rick. What are you going to do? We have the germ of an idea, and we'll discuss it with you as soon as Robert gets here. Are you worried that Stavros is after her? We know he is. George, I want you up here at once. Now, I have a mission for you. You know, Yanni, Port Charles is a quaint little town. Clean, quiet. I see why Mikos chose it. Nikos was a great man, but in later years, he became foolish. You have a choice, Stavros. There is no reason to risk your life. What revenge is worth that? This one is worth it. And no words of wisdom from an old gray head are going to stop me. Set in your ways, like Mikos. Yes, set in my ways, like Mikos. The only difference is, I will succeed. are a real threat, but they're a manageable threat, and I'm not exactly powerless myself. No one's even thinking that, Luke. And it doesn't matter if we keep her hidden away here for the next three and a half years. I rather expect they will not mind waiting. Right. You're right. They'll wait forever. So let them. We'll wait longer. As I... soon as they show themselves, then we'll take over. Luke, this is not the kind of thing that you play by ear. Of course not, Rick. I'm not planning to do that. I want to let them know that we're united, that we're not going to take anything from them, and they're certainly not going to take her from us. And if they don't care... I think you know the answer to that. We fight. What's the others? Great. Poor baby, we're going to have to go through this. Hello, darling. Robert is still on that infernal police phone. I cannot believe... In the limo. Do you believe that we had to stop all the way over at headquarters before we came here? This problem, that problem, I could not believe it. I would not have that job for all of the limo service in the world. And speaking of jobs, darling, I mean, how is yours going? I have not heard one single solitary peep out of you since you were sworn in. Now, are you all filled in here? Stephanie, I have other guests. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, hello, Laura, Rick, hello. Leslie. Laura. No. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. It's me. It is. It is. Oh, no. It is. Yeah, I, I don't believe it. Laura. Robert. 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 Yes. Oh, 
I'm back. I'm really back. I think I'm hallucinating. No. I can't believe it. You're not hallucinating. She's here. She's real. Where, where have you been? Robert, <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> sit down. We've got a lot to tell you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.